So this is going to be a very basic tutorial on uh, using the, the fairly new uh, the live blend primitives or shapes. Um, so these are different than the usual layers, the clay layers. These are the, <coughs> the primitive uh, live blend layers here. Um, popularly sort of known as uh, SDF modeling. Or, um, we won't get into the, uh, <laughs> the, the technicalities of why that might be wrong, but it seems to be trendy to call it SDF modeling. So we'll stick with that for, um, for ease of uh, terminology. Um, so you'll find the outliner here now. Um, this is still a work in progress, all these tools, so there's a lot more stuff to be added. And currently the devs are refactoring um, refactoring it to run on uh, GPU, so it's going to be faster in the future. And then I'm sure they'll add more tools after that. Um, it has the basic primitives and all the rest. Still needs, uh, if anyone's familiar with Magic is CSG and the tools that are in there, like splines and sweat profiles and things like that so eventually they'll all be added to modeler as well um so yeah your 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 menu might look a bit differently than mine um the outline will be here and you might have to switch between so i'm going to add a primitive here first i'll just add a cube and up the res you might have to uh you won't you mightn't have this here you might have to switch between this so um just bear that in mind but these these will be up here in a different uh a different panel here but if you're using a later version i don't know if it's been added to the public beta and uh, this is the private beta but yeah it should be in fairly soon and be like this so you don't have to keep switching between the two of them so yeah that's the primitives out of here It'll give you the drop down choose your shape and the difference here is that that's the layer is now created but we can still we can still change the shape at any time so it's fully non-destructive whereas with the regular clay layers <coughs> excuse me and um, you have your preview uh, before you lay down the clay but then once you apply the clay and commit to it you won't be able to change it so that's the power of these non-destructive uh, live blend prims you can um it's uh, yeah it's non-destructive so you can change this stuff at any point same with uh, creating these clay layers once you um commit to that you won't be able to change any of these parameters but they're essentially you're gonna have the same parameters on both both layers so that's the difference um with the non-destructive and destructive just gonna add another another few layers of resolution and you, this is the same you can go up and down with this as you walk it's all non-destructive so you know if you're familiar with the other i don't know it's going to be a beginner tutorial so i'll just um assume that you know people aren't really generally that familiar with modeler so bear with me if you already are and you just want to know the, the basics um of how this works this system here so now that we've created that um the primitive here you can see in the outliner it's it's within a container so if i scope out you can select that the container is selected and then if i scope in again you can either select from here or you can select from here so once you're inside the when you when you select the container it's going to go blue like the regular clay layers if you scope in and select it's going to have this uh, wireframe sort of bounding box around it. Now, I believe these are going to be changing as well. So I don't, I don't like to use this outliner at all in uh, VR. I like to just select everything here. So you still can do that. So that's going to be um, within the container. And then outside, that's the at the container level. And this will make it be more important, obviously, when you create more layers or more primitives inside that container. So at the moment, you know, there's only one in there, so it's easy to select. But then when you have a lot of subtractions and unions all within the same container, um, you know, it'll become more difficult to select. So I'm just gonna add a round and a fillet. And widen that out a bit.
and then you can duplicate these layers i'm just holding down the trigger here on the secondary controller drag the gizmo and then you can see that's another layer within that container so instead of having to keep um creating new layers all the time up here you can just uh, duplicate them and then when you duplicate it as well like if i duplicate another one here like i was saying earlier you can you can change that reset it and then it's it's within that container it just means you don't have you don't have to keep going in here and creating a new one you can just do it from these within that same container and then just change the shape reset it here or just reset these sliders manually so back into this one and i'm going to turn that into a a carve or a subtract and then you can use your your gizmo you're pretty much going to be using the gizmo all the time here with this and i'm going to just turn take off the right maybe take the round down a bit take the fillet off and then now let's say sorry i'm just going to put one more and so you can pull out you can scale out here as well and more or less in place and then i'm just going to scale that down turn that into a subtract to bring it together you can see here now the resolution it still feels quite low but if you when you go up too high at the moment and um, it'll start to slow down a bit um, in vr i don't know about desktop because i don't use the desktop but you know obviously the higher the resolution here the closer you're going to be able to go here they won't start trying to blend together um, and then you can set your resolution per um, per container so we can see now that these are indicated here in red that they're subtractive primitives within that and then there's your order of operations if you're familiar with um, you know traditional sort of boolean modeling in a 3d package um, this will that's on the top here and these are getting subtracted from that so that's on the top so if i, if I select this one and change the order of operations to be above that one you can see now um it's above that one so it's it's not affecting it so once i bring it down below it then so that's just bear that in mind the order of operations if you have like a well, like a hero operand we'll say that everything's going to be getting subtracted from um it's not going to matter with union but with subtraction you just want to make sure you can just keep that one on the top you can send it up to the top here at the bottom so just make sure that's on the top and um, now i'm going to scope out and i'm going to create a new one now because if i keep duplicating within that container it's going to stay in that container now i can do that and use these uh if i just select that for the moment i can use these uh, cut and paste so if you create something within a container and then and you want to take it out of that container and put it in its own or in a different one you can use these uh, cut and paste you just go inside the container select your layer cut the layer go outside and then you can just paste it in or else go into another container and paste it in there so i'm going to create just create a new one here and um, i know what i want to do actually because i want to keep the same i'll just go in here and just i might as well just do that so i'm just going to that's duplicated now set that to a see now the way it's it's gone quite slow there because i've upped the resolution so if i you can see here it's it's going to be blending by default but i don't want that i want to have a separation here now i could just um scale it down a bit but i'm going to be blending more layers here so i don't want that to be in sorry about that i think something weird is after happening with the, the tracking got stuck to the helmet or something yeah so it will depend here on i'm going to be adding the buttons here and they're going to be blending into this so if you want it blending into that you keep it in the same container and if you don't want these to blend because they're going to um, be intersecting them and um, you can just do that what i was saying you can just cut it you can disappear scope out and then just paste and now it's in its own and you can see here um it's dimmed out this other container 
So you know then it's not inside that and then it's created automatically a new container with that prim inside. So that's, you know, that's up to you there. Like if you want something to blend because they don't interact with each other, the different containers. So you can't blend or, or, um, or subtract them from each other. So just bear that in mind, um, whatever you want to be affected. Um, I'll show the blending here in a while. You, you just store them within the same container. So I'm just gonna duplicate that again and switch that to a cylinder and reset it, scale it down. Yeah, you can see how slow it's, it's getting now because I might just drop that res down. You can always work at lower res and then just um, at the end, whatever you can, before you convert it to clay, you can just up the res. Um, so let's say taper, bring that down. And now I'm just making a sort of an old school joystick um, type, of, the type of joystick I grew up with really and <laughs> spent many a year. We broke many of them as well. A lot of the games back then, that were these side to side you had to wiggle the joystick side to side to you know to run fast or whatever um combat skill was one of my favorites we used to just break the joysticks because yeah it depends on the joystick you're using but anyway so here's the blending here so i'm going to be blending these layers and it's going to be the same as i was saying um it's going to have to be within the same container for the blend uh, to affect it the layers and see here now that it's a little bit too big that blend it's starting to bleed over the edge so i'll just take it down a little bit and maybe put a bit of a filler on it and that will do for that one so we can either do the same again you can just copy and paste um sorry just duplicate the layer and then cut and paste into a new container or just scope all the way out and just create a new one, whichever is whichever's handier. And it has extremely low resolution. By default, um, your resolution won't, when you create new layers, it won't be like that. It's just that I was doing something else before I start working on this scene with regular layers. And because I adjusted the resolution, it's picked that up. So um, that yours it shouldn't be like that. Maybe one more. And I'll put a thickness in here. Duplicate, and I'm just using the thumb stick there, and then I can just switch. Reset. I didn't mean to do that, but now whenever, instead of resetting, I, sh I should have just, uh, we want to keep the same size, just adjust these manually. Um, so I'll set that to subtract and turn on the <clears throat> the mirror repeater and I'm not sure if this um this feature here is going to be in the version you have but it eventually will be um where you can you can pull It's not working out for some strange reason. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's just with regular at the moment. It's only, is it only working? No, let me see, that's weird. Sorry, I'm just going to create a new layer. This should be pulling from one side. Yeah, see, you, pull, you can pull from one side and then hold down the trigger, which might change in future as well to get uniform, but, uh, I'm not sure why it's not working there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure there. It should be just pulling from one side. But anyway, it's, it's a bug, so I'll just leave it. I won't dwell on that. Um, and now can, you can also use, you can just um, create normal layers as well. Right, sorry, uh, there's something weird happened there with the scale. I think it was just because of the scene I was working on before. Um, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna say you can you can you can use normal layers here as well. So this is just a regular regular clay layer here. 
rather than one of like it you can just you can mix and match so lay that down and that resolution thing is weird annoying okay that's okay and create a new layer a sphere bring it down maybe to here it looks a bit right from what my eight-year-old brain remembers lay that down you know if you wanted to uh you know i'm gonna i'm gonna take a piece out of here so you know if, if you if you were going to be doing this you, you know you know if you want to change the size of this later on change the size of this change the size of this you can just do this in the the non-destructive uh, layers because it'd be easier you'd be able to change this if you wanted to make that if i um take that out there now sorry up the res again you know and later on then if i want to make that smaller i won't be able to because uh you know if they've obviously taken it out already so i'd have to just redo the sphere and and make the oak smaller later on but uh with the with the, with the prims it's, it's all going to be um non-destructive so whichever you can mix and match whichever whichever is more useful for what you're doing um now where is the yeah so i'll just make these buttons and i'll make them in this container here um let me see yeah i'll just i'll make a new layer um make it smaller and i'll just add the uh, mirror appear and that's what i was talking about earlier on now it's not um if i wanted it to blend into this as well then i would just keep these in the same same container about there about there Make it a bit smaller. And I'll put a taper. And now we want to blend that in. So whatever suits. First, I will duplicate this layer, take off the taper, and subtract that. Maybe put a little bit of a fillet on it. I don't need to, I'm going to put the button in there, select this other layer, put a fillet on that. And so same thing again, I want to keep the button separate here. So I'm just going to duplicate again and this time I'm going to just cut scope out and paste just so that it's going to maintain the position rather than creating a new layer I'll have to set that up again bring it from the center set it up turn on the mirror it's just quicker to do that then it's, it's already in place and duplicate that again change the shape to a sphere subtract and maybe just um, another thing you can do as well is you can group these together so that you know i can select them then as a group go inside the container and there's still a group you can see the group is selected so yeah it's just another thing to bear in mind that this is selecting that container level then once i go inside i'm selecting at the group level and then scope in again and i'm down to the primitive level so scope out select the group and it's grouped across the two it is so in this case I want to select, sorry, the group. 
shouldn't be happening. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go in. And group. I'm not sure. That shouldn't. That, that shouldn't. Selecting the group. So yeah, that's something I would probably. I wouldn't expect or I wouldn't want to happen. You know, you're creating the group, which you don't. You want to be able to group. Um, within the mirror, so I suppose. Um, on group, right, that's container group. I'm fairly new new to these tools as well myself, so this is a bit of an experimentation for me as well. Um, so let's say ungroup these, turn that off, and group them again, and now turn on the mirror for the group. And now you should be able to scale them. No, that's weird. Right, that's container, group. Yeah, I don't know, that looks like a bug to me anyway. I'll, I'll definitely have to raise that, like. Oh no, it's not, it's just not doing it in real time. Right, so I leave that, that. Buttons look way too small, so I want to go in. Sorry, go in here. And select these two. And scale them up. And this is the nice thing about uh, about doing this non-destructively. You can sort of block things out. Um, now you can also do this with the clay layers. Um, just don't merge them until the very end. But, um, you know, you, you won't be able to see what this is going to look like, your blending or you, know, you, you won't be able to change these on the fly or your fillets or whatever. So it's good for blocking out, you know. So and let's say that's not too bad. And so I suppose we lose the, and it seems, yeah, it just seems to be a case of you don't get real time feedback, but I'm sure that'll be fixed. I'm sure that'll be fixed in the future. So maybe scale it up a bit more. Um, what else? Yeah, I suppose we can just maybe just put. I'm just going to use the regular, regular layers with this. Um, and, and, and fill it. Maybe something like that. And I'm just going to create a new layer. Lay down the clay, scope out, that's very really low. And then I'm just going to duplicate that and I'm just flicking on the secondary controller. I'm just flicking on the, uh, the thumb stick there just to get a, a, an evenly spaced linear array. And, and what else now? Back to this layer again and I will, I'll just create a new one. Scan it down. Up there. And right about there. Same again, change the shape. See, that's working again now. It wasn't earlier, so it's obviously just some sort of bug. Set that to subtract. I'm just going to do the same with the array, so I'm just flicking the thumbstick to give me an evenly spaced array. And deselect that one. And just duplicate them again. And for this one, I can put some blending on that. And select all these. Something a little bit, yeah, it's up something like that, you know. Um, and then bring that down a bit and we'll subtract. And I'm 
just gonna put the uh, turn off the blending yeah I'll just put a wire in there then so I will create a normal layer something like that I might make it bigger and then I can adjust that boolean in there so let me see go up again lay down the clay and then if I want to I can go back in and it's probably going to be hard to find that one so I'll just hide that one and bring that up a bit here something like that scope out bring that back <coughs> and then yeah that'll be just your your cable sticking out so I suppose you can do whatever you like with that and yeah it won't so bother doing anymore with that that'll, that'll do except maybe chop the end off it yes yeah, so you can do whatever you like with the cable so that's that's pretty much it and then the other thing yeah you can apply materials to these as well so we go inside here materials make a new material and apply the selection it's going to apply it to uh, the whole container um, sorry, what? No, 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 edit properties. Yeah, it'll apply it to the whole container. Add a bit of spec. And set, yeah, you can just make um, materials for um, edit properties. And apply. Apply. Yeah, so you get the idea there. Maybe apply that one. And yeah, I won't bother going in and doing all these. They're only for preview. I usually don't um, apply materials when I'm working anyway. I just work in, in uh, uh, grey or whatever, sort of clay colour or grey colour. So yeah, that's pretty much it there. Um, and you can see as well, like this is, this is why I don't, especially in VR, like to me, this is just working and this is just a nightmare. It's way too slow for me. I'd rather just do all this in um, the same way as I normally work a modeler with the layers here. And um, devs are saying there's gonna be, um, this will definitely be improved, the, the visual feedback. And um, when you're selecting this stuff, because you can see, like, it's hard to, um, you have to go in, it's hard to, to select those subtracts. But, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather be selecting them here than saying, okay, yeah, right, that's in there. Okay, which which ones of these are these? And then, if you think I'm going to go in and name things in VR, <laughs> no, not never going to happen. I'll, I'm just going to be working all the time in the, in the viewport here. And... You know, I won't even have that open, that outliner. Yeah, so I hope this was useful. I know it's very, very basic, but um, it gives you a good idea of how to use the tools. And then you can always go in here, convert to clay. And now that's, that is a clay layer. So you can use all your normal tools on it. And you see as well, when I converted that, It applied the mirror. So if I go back. And select. If I go in here. I select these two layers. Turn that off. 
That's weird. Um, that is weird. Yeah, I don't know what's happening there. You should be able to... Should be able to turn these off, so that looks like some sort of... Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. That's a bug, I think. Container. Oh, yeah, it's working again now, look. Turn off, turn on. Yeah, I don't know, that's just a bug. As I said, these tools are all still being worked on, so there, there, there are still bugs in here. So, yeah, convert to clay. And now it's the clay layer. And now we can turn on and get your regular mirror there and your clay layer. Right, so that's it, and I'm going to leave it at this. Um, Hopefully it was somewhat useful. All right, cheers. Thanks, Philip.